Okay, so continuing to field questions here for Yossi Mili. I have a student who asks about how much he should expect his UWorld block percentage scores to increase as he makes inroads through the QBank. And as far, in other words, what's normal? Should you expect to go up significantly as you make inroads through UWorld, or is stagnation uh, more typical? Okay, and I can give a concise, valuable answer here. So before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I normally am. Tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for your simile. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question as far as how much should you expect your scores to go up? in your UWorld blocks as you make inroads to the QBank. And I said I could give, give some concise value here. The first point I could make is that stagnation is actually very fucking typical and actually the normal trajectory for most students. Do not get discouraged if your percentages are not going up the way you expect. Obviously, for each block, You'll have fluctuations above and below a baseline, but you'll notice your average. It'll be difficult to change your average as you move forward because you have so many uh, prior blocks that factor in. What's more important is perhaps looking at the last 10 blocks you've done. And those averages, whilst they will go up if your knowledge base is improving, that's not overly dramatic or novel of a point to make, but although your averages will go up, I could at least communicate the point that do not expect a dramatic augmentation. It's pretty typical for students to stagnate slash only go up a little bit, even if their NBMEs are ultimately going to be a lot higher, okay? Why that tends to be the case? No fucking idea, okay? It just is. So students will often improve on their NBME exams as they go through UWorld, even though their block percentages, their last 10, might not increase too significantly. And then the other point I could make, and this makes sense, is that if you're scoring pretty high, the higher you're scoring already to start, the increasingly more difficult it is to make further improvements. If you already start UWorld and you're scoring 81% on your blocks, it's more difficult to move up to 86% as compared to someone who's scoring 41% and they're gonna move up to 46%. In other words, if your knowledge base is really fucking low and you're making some improvements as you're going through, you could expect your final blocks as you get to the end of the QBank to be in the 50s, 60s, okay? You've made significant uh, improvement. Whereas if you start at an 81, you might finish at maybe your last few blocks are averaging around 85 or 86, okay? So you know the deal. I'm gonna continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time, that's it.